Hi friends, welcome to the channel Dinners. So here we are starting second part of mental health nursing personality disorder. So first part we discussed around 10 questions. So here we will discuss 10 more questions. As we told yesterday, personality disorders are around 10 types in that there is a relation with some personality disorder because some personality disorders have some common symptoms. So with that common symptoms, personality disorders are classified into three clusters. Clusters are cluster A, cluster B and cluster C. In cluster A, the personality disorders include paranoid personality disorder, schizoid personality disorder and schizotypal personality disorder. The common feature in cluster A is odd or eccentric characteristics behavior. So this kind of person's uh, behavior is socially withdrawal behavior is a common factor that is eccentric. The person will think himself only he will not socialize with others or there is less friend circles or there is no friends they have. So in the in this characteristic features are seen in cluster A personality disorders. Next one is cluster B personality disorder. In cluster B personality disorders mainly antisocial behavior, borderline personality disorder, histrionic personality disorder and narcissistic personality disorder. In cluster B personality disorder the common behavior pattern is dramatic or emotional behavioral patterns they will be mainly exhibitionist like uh, they will utilize the uh, situation so they will uh, tend to become a erratic pe pe uh, person persons like they will be dis uh, used to disturb other persons that is a common symptom in cluster B personality disorders in that I told here cluster B includes histrionic personality antisocial uh, personality disorder and borderline personality disorder and narcissistic personality disorder third one is third cluster is cluster C uh, personality disorder in that mainly three disorders are uh, included in cluster C personality disorder they are Avoidant personality disorder, dependent personality disorder, and obsessive compulsive personality disorder. In cluster C personality disorder, the common behavior pattern is they will become more anxious or fearful. That is a common thing in cluster C personality disorder. They will be more anxious or fearful. So we can discuss in uh, one by one in each question so we can go to the screen a client is admitted exhibiting the following per following that is pervasive pattern of social inhibition agoraphobia fear of criticism feeling of inferiority to others and feeling of being totally unattractive to others the nurse interprets this behavior as characteristic feature of which disorder a client is admitted exhibiting the following pervasive pattern of social inhibition, agoraphobia, fear of criticism, feelings of inferiority to others and feelings of being totally unattractive to others. The nurse interprets the, this behavior as characteristics of which disorder? Dependent personality disorder, histrionic personality disorder, narcissist personality disorder, Avoidant personality disorder. Here correct, correct answer is avoidant personality disorder. Next question. The nurse would expect to the the nurse would expect to observe which of the following behavior in a client who has histrionic personality disorder. The nurse would expect to observe which of the following behavior in a client who has histrionic personality disorder. 
exploitation of others to meet their own needs and desires, portray a demeanor of grandiosity, portray excessive provocative behavior, expression of feelings of emptiness and boredom. Correct answer is portray excessive provocative behavior. An histrionic personality disorder patient will portray excessive provocative behavior. They will be exhibitionist usually. Histrionic personality disorders exhibit provocative behaviors. Exploitation of others and grandiosity are descriptions of narcissistic personality disorder. Feeling of emptiness and boredom are descriptions of borderline personality disorder. Historic personality disorder exhibit provocative behaviors. Narcissistic personality disorder patients will ex uh, exhibit exploitation of others and grandiosity. Borderline personality disorder patients will exhibit feeling of emptiness and boredom. Next question, which of the following behavioral pattern is characteristic of individual with histrionic personality disorder? Which of the following behavioral pattern is characteristic of individual with histrionic personality disorder? Berating themselves and their abilities, overreacting to minor stimuli, suspicious and mistrustful of others, social withdrawal and distant relationships. Correct answer is overreacting to minor stimuli. Next question. The nurse is developing outcomes for a client with a histrionic personality disorder. What is the most appropriate outcome for this client? The nurse is developing outcome for a client with a histrionic personality disorder. What is the most appropriate outcome for this client? Contracts for safety and is free of self-inflicted injury. Participates in impulse control training. Participates in anger management classes. Participates in group without being the center of attention. Correct answer is participates in group without being the center of attention. Histrionic personality disorder patient will be exhibitionist. So the major goal of the treatment is patient should participate in group without being the center of attention. Contracting for safety and impulse control training, usually for borderline personality disorder. Contracting for safety and impulse control training, usually for borderline personality disorder. Anger management training is usually for antisocial behaviors. Anger management training for antisocial behavior disorder patient. Contracting for safety and impulse control for borderline personality disorder patients. Next question. The nurse is reviewing the behavior of a client with histrionic personality disorder. The nurse determines that a change in behavior may be occurring when the client does what? The nurse is reviewing the behavior of a client with histrionic personality disorder. The nurse determines that change in behavior may be occurring when the client does what? Draws attention and addresses provocatively, in easily influenced by other or circumstances, shows concern about hurting someone else's feelings, describes intimate relationship. Dis describe intimate relationship with casual acquaintances. Correct answer shows concern about hurting someone else's feelings. A client with histrionic personality disorder typically is insensitive to anyone else's experience. When this patient becomes improves, patient will be concerned about someone else's feeling. So, histrionic personality disorder typically is insensitive to anyone else's experience. 
during the period of improvement they will show concern about the others feelings next question which of the following behavior pattern would a nurse expect to observe in a client with an obsessive compulsive personality disorder which of the following behavior pattern would a nurse expect to observe in a client with OCD disorder obsessive compulsive personality disorder that is inflexible and la lack of spontaneity submissive and clinging impulsive and unstable emotionally cheerful and carefree correct answer is inflexible and lack of spontaneity submissive and clinging behavior seen in dependent personality disorder impulsive and unstable emotionally behavior seen in borderline personality disorder cheerful and carefree behavior is seen in narcissistic personality disorder submissive and clinging behavior seen in dependent personality impulsive and unstable emotional emotional see, seen in borderline personality cheerful and carefree behavior seen in narcissistic personality disorder next question what behaviors would a nurse expect to see in a client who has a schizoid personality disorder what behaviors would a nurse expect to see in a client who has a schizoid personality disorder fearful and anxious erratic and emotional odd and eccentric emotional and dramatic correct answer odd and eccentric because schizoid and schizoid schizotypal and paranoid personality disorders are comes under cluster a personality disorder so cluster a personality disorder have the common factors like odd and eccentric behaviors so fearful and anxious describes in cluster c in that behavior disorder avoidant dependent and obsessive compulsive disorders comes in cluster b personality disorder erratic emotional and dramatic behavior are seen in as a common cluster b personality disorder includes borderline antisocial histrionic and narcissistic disorders so there are three clusters cluster a cluster b and a cluster c behavior uh, cluster c personal personality disorder because in these clusters some common behavior patterns are there next question which nursing intervention has priority for a client with a borderline personality disorder which nursing intervention has priority for a client with a borderline personality disorder maintain consistent realistic maintain consistent realistic limits give instruction for meeting basic self care needs engage in daytime activities to stimulate wakefulness have the client attend group therapy on a daily basis correct answer maintain consistent realistic limits clients with the borderline personality disorder who are needy dependent and manipulative will benefit greatly from maintaining consistent realistic limits clients with the borderline personality disorder who are needy dependent and manipulative will benefit greatly from maintaining consistent realistic limits next question what might be an effective intervention for client with schizoid personality disorder what might be an effective intervention for a client with schizoid personality disorder an impulsive impulse control training participates in anger management classes participates in group without being the center of attention participates in social skills training correct answer participates in social skills training 
Clients with a schizoid personality disorder could benefit from social skills training because they are detached from others and learners. Clients with schizoid personality disorder could benefit from social skills training because they are detached from others and learners. Next question. A nurse is assessing a client with a narcissistic personality disorder. The nurse anticipates the client's behavior to be characterized as which of the following? Grandiose and entitled, submissive and clinging, impulsive and unstable emotionally, provocative and seductive. Correct answer, grandiose and entitled. Grandiosity and the essence of entitlement describes the behavior pattern of a client with narcissistic personality disorder. Grandiosity and sense of entitlement describes the behavior pattern of a client with narcissistic personality disorder. Next question. Which of the following describes relationship of a client with histrionic personality disorder? Which of the following describes relationship of a client with histrionic personality disorder? Cold and distant, shallow and smothering, close and clingy, distrustful and jealous. Correct answer is shallow and smothering. Cold and distant relationship maintained by schizoid personality. Close and clingy behavior showed by dependent personality disorder. Distrustful and jealous personal behavior patterns showed by paranoid personality disorders. So question sense here. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe our channel Dinners. Thank you.